Hey guys, Extra Arts here. So today I'm going to be doing tut a tutorial on a 3D text setup. So this is not going to be that hard, but I'm just going to show you guys if you don't know how to make a HDRI like it, fill it caps, and use fractures. So, so first we're going to start off by getting a move text, which is like the text bit. So we're just going to wait for it to load up here. So by the way, the, all you need for this is a HDRI map. I, I, I don't make HDRI maps, but if I get 50 likes on this video, I'll leave a download link for that. So we're just going to click on this and then so it appears with all the fonts that you want. Which I'm going to choose my favourite font, Google Poster Punch. So let's just wait for it to load up. So if this takes some time, it's just my C4D. Because I have so many fonts. How many fonts I have, I don't even know where I got these fonts from, but how many fonts. Okay, so we're going to find Google Poster Punch. So you go to the G. And then you scroll down to get to Geo. And then here's Google Poster Punch. So we're going to set the align to middle. So it's in the middle of, like, it's in the middle of your screen. So you're going to change the text to whatever I want. To whatever you want. I'm going to be bad because I'm going to make it for a person called Bear. So it changes. Now we're going to um, do fill it caps. But first we need to change the depth to 50. And then change the fill it caps. So we're going to do the steps 15. And then the radius 3.5. Just do that. And then you see the text looks much nicer already. So now you're gonna copy and paste it. You're gonna set the depth to 30. Gonna change fillet cap to 3. And go here because I've done it wrong. You change this. To, change, you have to change this to 40, and change this to 60. So now you want to align it so it's in like these are. That's in the middle. So you're just gonna hold shift, move it 10 left from, with the blue axis. So you align it now. So now you could apply two maps for it, like for example you want this colour map and then you want this colour map you'll get a text like you could do that but I'm not going to go into maps because I actually don't know how to make them I use Miguel Arts as maps so so now you're going to press C on your keyboard so it makes these into nulls but make sure it's final like you don't want to change the font or something so you when you press c you open it up you get these out of the null and then you delete the null and then you do the same with these and get it out of the null so now you're going to need the fractures so to get this go to mill graph and fracture so you put all these in it so you're going to put one letter each and one fracture, so um, I'm going to put both B's in one fracture and then get another fracture and then just connect, and then just keep doing it till um, you get all the letters and fractures. By the way, um, select the letter that you want and then hold control to select it but because if you hold shift if you hold shift it will select the middle one as well so just 
press control and if you select something wrong press control to unselect it so just gonna keep doing that the reason is you want to do this so you could um, put it in one fracture final like four for it so because it's one fracture final so you could add um like you could add def um deformers sorry i don't know what they're called but you could add like a plane or a group or something i mean an effector yeah so go to fracture and then i'm gonna do the final one which is the name so now you're gonna name these the letters so like B A Oh So we've got that Now you're going to make a fracture And then put all these in it And to be organised Name it Text So now, like, you can move each letter individually, so that's what I like about it. Now you're going to click this axis, the shortcut to L if you want to use the shortcut. So you're going to move it to the centre of the B, like, because I've selected the B, you move it into the centre of this. You, the reason you press this is because, so it doesn't let it, um, because if you don't press this, you just move the letter with it. So that's the bad thing about it. And then you're going to set it in the middle like this. And then, so now it's in the middle of it. So when you rotate it, it should rotate perfectly. So keep doing this with every letter. So shortcut to L and then to move it, press E or just select this and move it in the middle of the letter. So I just moved it and then move it in the middle of th in the middle this way because well you want to get it in the middle both ways. Make sure it's in the middle. Do make sure it's like. I don't know, just make sure. Oh yeah, um, to make sure it's depth, because we set the depth to 60, just how it says here. That means the middle is 30, so you could just type 30 in the z-axis. So just like this, type 30 in the z-axis. And then now, it's in the middle of the A on the z-axis. And then we're going to move it up so it's in the middle. It doesn't have to be precise, but it has to be good enough. Like, I think of it as like a line between them, which separates them in half. So, for example, the B here could be here as well. And then, so just use that to help you. So now the last letter. Not gonna take it too long. And then remember set this to 30. And then now you're done. And if you see now, you can move each letter and you can rotate each letter. So now I'm gonna show you how to get a HDRI like it. So this is not hard, you get a map and then you're gonna get a sky from like floor, so you, you hold like the floor icon and then select the sky and you're gonna put the map on the sky and then you're gonna go press these two dots and then find your mat, the your HRI mat, I'll leave one in the description. If I get 50 likes just like I said so now I'm gonna find it so I have one in my pack 
Let me just find it. Oh, I don't have one here. Wait, let me just get it from another pack. I'll be right back when I get it. So now I'm back and I have one right here. So from the Kicks Minecraft pack. So I'm just going to drag it out and then put it in this like dot dot dot. And then you're going to press no. So now if you see, you have a HDRI light. So, so if you render it now, it's going to look pretty crap because you could see this. So you're going to right click, see for D tags, then press composition, and then do not see my cameras. So now, you have it. So, like, I'm just going to get Matt. So, I'm just going to get Matt from my previous project files, and then pretty much that's it. So, I'm going to show you the final result of the lighting. So, right back okay so I've got the two maps so this is how to apply the map on the text if you don't know how so you're just gonna open up the fracture and then you're gonna put a map that you want on it so I'm gonna put this on you're gonna just hit you're gonna enable seamless and change your UVW mapping to cubic so you've got that first bit now you're gonna select the blue material put it on the one under it, do the same thing, set it to cubic and then seamless. So now, you render it, you get a simple HDRI like that. Don't worry if you don't think it looks great because, oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, if you go to edit, project set settings, turn then your workflow off and it makes your maths look so much better. So if you don't like the maps, it's okay because when you actually make the intro, when you go into After Effects, you could like put an adjustment layer to and add magic bullet looks. So it's the end of this tutorial. I hope this helped you and leave a like if this did help. And if you have any tutorial suggestions, just tell me and. Next time, I'm gonna do a lighting tutorial for Minecraft, so it shouldn't be too hard. So, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.